Tawazani, Tawazani to Melang, hello. Um, okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Okay, Tawazani, welcome. Welcome to um, Learning with Noma. My name is Noma and Today we are again, you know, unpacking candles. It is candle week here on learning with Norma and today we are talking about the red and the orange candle. Welcome everybody to Um Earlier today I was on, I was live, I was just encouraging everyone to take advantage of tomorrow, uh, the 11th of the 11th month in 2020 yeah so if you did miss it the video is probably somewhere in today's post you can just go and catch up there and do not miss out on anything like i said welcome my name is noma this is learning with noma we're taking a closer look at health at finance and at our spirituality we're growing together we're learning together changing our lives one lesson at a time so um uh, well, if you are just following me on Facebook, please do go on other platforms. On Instagram, we are learning uh, at Learning with Norma. On YouTube, Learning with Norma. Subscribe to the channel. There's much more content there because some of the videos I pre-shoot and then I upload on YouTube. So there's lots of things that are in store in the class. So please do visit the YouTube channel. Subscribe. Click that subscribe button. It's free. Hit the like button and let's just grow the classroom and, um, and learn together. And also there is a website, a blog website, learningwithnoma.com, where you can go and read on articles that I've written uh, about spirit, water, um, you know, the difference between spirit and um, the creator. What are we talking about when we talk about Ahmad Rosie and God? So there's just a lot of things on the on the website itself that um, I will be sharing slowly also on Facebook. But yes. All right. Um, on today's lesson, we are just continuing from yesterday. It is day two of Candle Week on Learning with Norma. Today we are talking about the red and the orange candle. So um, let me just start probably with those who watched yesterday. It's going to sound like a replay or some sort of deja vu, but that's how I'm going to try to start the lessons every day, just by an introduction of us understanding why Candle Week, why did I find it important or why did Spirit inspire me to come and teach about candles. I've had a lot of emails, people asking me about, um, I need to use this color candle, can I use it, what does it mean? So just understand that the streams that I'm doing, the teachings and lessons that I'm sharing, they are closely inspired, they are Spirit inspired, um, but they are also, you know, trying to reach out to those who are asking questions because I cannot answer each and every one individually. Uh, if you need to be answered individually, of course, uh, guess the chanto, it's a consultation and we take it a step further. But here I'm just sharing general knowledge that can be very useful to all of us, especially when we start in our spiritual journeys or when we take the, you know, the understanding that we are now ready for spiritual awakening. So um, there's a quote that I've put on my social media and it is also like I said everything that I'm doing it's spirit inspired I don't just go there and go come here and just teach but it's everything that spirit inspires so there's a quote that was sort of like inspired for me to start the candle week and I've put it on the on the Facebook page also where I was saying just as the Sun gives light to the physical world the candle or a candle is giving light to the spirit world and in the olden days we know that there would always be fire and around the fireplace is where all the children will gather and um, they'll be sharing stories and even wisdom <laughs> that is a place where wisdom was shared 
and with us lighting a candle um, it's exactly that we are trying to bring that element of fire uh, the element of of desire into our space when we are connecting with our higher self and the higher power and again for me i say that um when you are lighting your candle it's sort of like your location drop pin you are saying to your ancestors here i am you are saying to god here i am you, you are sort of like putting a location on the spiritual map and you are just um signaling to say this is where i am so yeah it's it, you know to, we are just trying to unpack the different colors so that you also understand when you use a certain candle color why are you using it and what are you trying to attract um i i will always say with the ggi greetings uh, gratitude intention to inv uh, invite with intention the ggi mornings intention is important so with you understanding the different color candles that will also help you with um you know in intention uh driven prayers intention driven hopatla so you don't just do the act because everybody's doing it but you will understand the intention and you will know which tools to use so we are empowering each other we are growing together and like i said we are just learning together without any further ado <laughs> let's get to the lesson of the day so um the first candle that we are looking at is the red candle I'm going to start with the red color in spirituality itself before we get to the candle. Um, with color, the reason why I need to sort of like tap into color, I'm not going to do a whole session about it, but just an introductory thing is because color in itself, it's, it's, it's a house of um, energy or it's a form of vibrational energy. And that in itself influences how we look at the world. It influences how you approach the world. So once you understand color in its purest form, then you can understand all the other things that are made out of that color and you know color influences the way we like i said we interact with the world or how we see the world as a whole they are also associated with planetary influences yesterday we talked about nine planets that we all know of if you did your science um and we will do another teaching about planets and how they connect us to our spiritual beings and i said for me i've added the moon so today i'm going to say 11 planets because we're going to talk a little bit also about the sun with one of the candles and also with color there is a, a, a specific um, energy element that can also be associated with color it can either be one or two or even all of them and when i talk about energy elements i'm talking about fire earth water and wind and then um, now with the color red I'm sure everybody knows when we talk about red, we think of Valentine's Day, you know, romance, passion, everything. But other people will say, oh, no, actually the first thing that came to my mind was fighting, anger, rage. So that is exactly what um, the, 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 the color red is all about. It's power, it's energy, it's assertiveness, it's um, danger you know when you see red we always say red for danger so that is the color red um and with red it also sort of like gives you encouragement when you see it's danger so that is encouragement to say stand up move so the color red is about taking action and taking action now not tomorrow not in the next minute it's just about you standing up and taking action now when we are now um <clears throat> talking in terms of the red candle the red candle is a representation of bo both the masculine and you know the sun or fire it is intense um, yeah let me say fire i think fire best describes it the element of fire best describes it with with um, red you get it, it is emotionally intense you know the minute you see red your emotions go high you if you want to go you're gonna go now if you want to fight you're gonna fight now so everything in red is about take action right this moment and it must be action that is taken with emotion action that is taken with power so uh, when we look at red also we are looking at that physical energy the high power in physique where you are just putting enough energy to make sure that you are getting um 
whatever that you are looking for done and you don't come back to repeat it or you don't find yourself regretting that um, you know if I had taken action I wouldn't have achieved in meditation people use your you know who use the red candle mostly in their meditation will be your athletic people people who are seeking to have that physical power that physical stamina they would use it in their meditation um, people who are also you know looking for romance um, they use it in meditation to try and attract some sort of love into their life people who are also seeking life and seeking life can be in many different ways it can either be you facing things in your life that are overwhelming and you need some sort of strength uh, because blood is red um, so red is associated with life so you're gonna find that people who are needing some sort of um, you know a life uh, encouraging energy they would use the red color or the red candle and in romance it's about you know your sexual um, interactions uh, it can be in your love life when you feel like things are not as smooth as they are people will take the red candle and meditate over it and even in fertility when you are struggling to have children you can use the red color and you can you know encourage the universe to send energies to you energies of of fertility uh, energies that will help you produce uh, so we've said all the good things about red uh, you know when you are seeking defense physical or spiritual defense you call upon your ancestors with a red color also when you light a red candle remember that is like a drop pin uh, a location drop in where ancestors can look at you but the the red color in itself it is the the longest uh on the visible you know a uh, light spectrum so it it catches attention yeah that's the, that's the the way i want to explain it. it catches attention so even with them when they see you lighting a red candle they start telling each other yay location dropping there's danger let's go so they come rushing to hear what you need to say they come rushing to hear what you have to say so when you need the attention quickly and you're in a situation that i'll say a rough patch or you really need to have answers in haste then you use your red candle you light it you talk to your um, ancestors you talk to your spiritual guides you talk to your higher self you talk to your higher being god is us we are god god is within so you know you just you just connect to that to, to that um, higher self and your conscious being and you ask for guidance you ask for, for for help and because of the red color it grabs attention and you sort of like get everybody gathered around you together um, we also use it in communication for assertiveness but I'll say gentle assertiveness uh, and also aggressive assertiveness so you need to be very careful when you use the red candle the red candle needs one who is able to set intention and set it clearly uh, I am gonna d do very very soon a, a stream on setting intention how one can set intention what are the skills how do you start how do you practice because when you're using candles like the red candle it's very important for you to know what kind of intention you need to be in a positive state of mind you need to be clear of what you want because the red is for danger red is for danger when you look at our stop signs all the warning signs are in red your high voltage signs beware red is always that you know color that has been chosen for such so um we need to to be careful when we're using red because as much as we are talking about sexuality and how it can encourage romance into our life it can also be very dangerous um some people talk about uh, hot aphrodisiacs that possess dark energies so that means you will have um yes you will have better sexual encounters yes romance will groom will bloom in your you know in your house you will 
you, you you and your partner in your relationship you will get along it will be fine but now if you overuse the power of red that is when people talk about bo uchi si tue and 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 so those kind of things come they say too much of a good thing is bad so be careful also when you use it in your romantic relationship what kind of intention are you giving out to it because too much romance can also be bad we all need to be sane in relationships we all need to to have you know the will power to say no to say yes we need to be partners so um in in that sense we are talking about spells people who will be using it in in wrong ways and that's not the intention for this teaching the intention is for us to understand what kind of positivity we can get out, we can get out of these colors um and you can also use red to eliminate any negative energies around you or to repel any negativity that is because like i said you are inviting your warriors um you know your warrior entourage to come and help you in a battle that you in so whether you want to you you know that you've got a battle that you're facing it can be financial it it doesn't always have to be physical guys uh when we talk about battles that we're facing it does not always have to be physical some are financial some are career wise you are in a job that you don't like you're working in a space where you don't feel comfortable you wake up in the morning you feel frustrated you've been applying for other jobs and you don't get any job so if you're job seeking a red candle is very good for you to use to sort of like win any kind of battle that's why i'm saying intention is always important when you are using any color candle you need to be specific in your intention so if you are struggling job hunting sending cvs left and right and center you can use a red candle to sort of like channel to say can all this negativity around me go and can i understand why are the doors not opening because then you are bringing your warrior entourage to say fight the battle for me and with red it, it's sort of like you understanding that you need to be still and um allow your spirit guides to take over because you have signaled them you have said to them here is a battle that i'm fighting it's it's beyond me please can you assist um because most of the time we're not fighting physical battles but we are fighting spiritual battles that become emotional battles and we tend to confuse the two because they are so emotionally draining you end up thinking it is a physical thing and you need to fight it with your physical power but we are actually facing spiritual battles that need spiritual guidance that need for us to bow down to go to the ground and be grounded and ask help from our higher power if you use the red candle like i said with um you know dark energies involved or with you not having clear intentions it can evoke um dangerous things guys people can die accidents can happen uh blood can be shed so all i can say about the red candle is be careful be careful be careful when you use it to protect yourself it is another thing because you will be channeling energies of protection so it is good if you are feeling weak or if you feel attacked you can always use it to build a wall of protection and the intention will be that build a wall of protection against me for me personally even with all the clients that i see uh because dark energies are there we cannot deny that just because we are not practicing in dark energies does not mean that they do not exist and that means we cannot ignore um otherwise we will you know be living like horses who are clubs just because you're running in your track you think there's no one else running besides you or you don't understand this is a race so with dark energies they are there we know they are there and even if i personally as gognoma am not practicing dark energies but i need to be able to build a protection wall around um you know the people that i'm assisting and also for yourself for me i say concentrate more on protection and do not concentrate on fighting the enemy because you'll be concentrating on one enemy when you have 10 20 so when you build a protection wall around yourself you are making sure that whoever comes from whatever corner of this earth i am protected so use the red candle more to build a protection barrier around yourself and less to attack 
because when you attack you're gonna attack today you're gonna attack tomorrow you're just gonna be in battles that are never ending and then um, the most important thing again to just maybe in in trying to summarize the the red candle if there's any questions please do feel free to ask the questions and i will get to them and answer if there's anything you need to add please be free to put it in the comments we all learning here like i say i'm learning with you you're learning with me we're growing together uh, so in summary we can say that the red candle improves survival it helps with both physical mental and you know i'll say actually physical mental and spiritual power it ignites romance in our life it ignites um you know willpower it encourages uh, it encourages us to act on situations it repels procrastination so with the red um with the red candle you cannot procrastinate you cannot say i will do it tomorrow i can or with the red power or red energies you cannot postpone you have to act now it's one of those adrenaline pumping colors when you see it red for danger you jump and you want to do it now if you're a procrastinator you can also use red candle in your prayers and in your meditation uh, and like i say your intention is to say please eliminate this negative energy of procrastination please allow me to 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 to, to do things in the moment and stop postponing because other you know the, there's a quote that i love very much that says that the tomorrow that you were worried about yesterday is today so when you are saying i'll do it tomorrow or you're worried about tomorrow tomorrow it will be you know yesterday we need to just be able to eliminate the negative power of procrastination and be able to to do things in the moment and be mindful of what we do but also get that encouragement from all these beautiful energies that the universe have given to us to help us in in our everyday life red candle just be aware that you use it when you are within your positive state of mind and your intention is clear the planet that is associated with the red candle is mass or with the red color is mass and earlier today i was just um, saying we are so lucky this friday the 13th friday the 13th is always uh, so was then associated with unlucky happenings um it was level matter and everything that is negative but on this particular friday the 13th we are so lucky because it the mass will be um you know it will be situated indirect so it is going to release us mass is a very aggressive planet emotions run high maybe aggressive it's a wrong word but it is emotionally intense with mass our emotions run high we you get to have rage you have anger you have all sorts of emotions coming over you so on the friday the 13th it will actually be stationed in direct at and it will be and it will be releasing us and we'll be welcoming a new moon a new super moon in scorpio on on sunday where we will be doing manifestations um the new moon manifestation and i'll be doing a teaching i had a lot of um requests after the stream i did this afternoon on email to say can you please tell us about the new moon manifestation ritual because then um sunday is coming we don't know we need to learn and we need to do it um, so yeah, we are getting rid of mass on Friday. Mass is letting us go. And just a few facts about mass for you to also understand the red color, power, passion. Mass is actually named after a Roman god of war. Mass in itself is also called a red planet. And this is because it's red in color when you look at it from a distance. Mass has two moons just a fun fact but one day when we are talking about planets we'll unpack it uh, just for you to associate mass is named after the roman god of war and it is a red planet in itself it's called red planet for those who also struggled with um, planet names like myself it is a red planet the elements associated with the red candle is um, fire and water 
we've already talked about fire but water is just for us to understand the gentle side of the red remember i talked about how it elevates your romance how it ignites um you know encouragement so it's just for us to see that there is a gentle side to red but there's also a dangerous side to red which is fire and the day where we are mostly encouraged to do our red candle rituals it is a tuesday because it is believed that mass it is um strongly placed and is waxing when we talk about the moon we are going to learn more about the waxing and the waning of planets and moons and yeah all those uh, terminologies like i said every language spoken on the channel is going to become simple language no jargon so every lesson will be trying to encourage us to grow more and to learn more the chakra that is associ associated with the red candle is the root chakra the root chakra is um just like it says it's our root uh, it's at the base of our spine around the the tail area so when i'm sitting like this when you're sitting like that we are actually connecting to the earth with our root chakra that's why when you meditate you're always encouraged to sit and be in that sitting position because you are rooting yourself you are grounding yourself it represents that foundation and feeling of being grounded uh, and it is you know emotionally the, the emotional relation is the survival emotions with the root chakra it, it, it it's about survival you want to survive and hence we are talking about the red color and adrenaline and how you would take action now because that is all about survival you want to survive so you will take your action right now no manga manga business no i'll do it tomorrow no whatever that is why we are also talking about um emotions like that in the root chakra our chakras will also make a stream and talk about all the i think it's what 11 chakras that we have seven in the body and um four up in the universe but we will talk about that when the time is right so with the red please understand if you need something or you are facing a situation that needs you to face it head on definitely use your red if you need some romance in your life or you know some elevation use the red candle remember valentine's day when it's valentine we see red everywhere red roses red candles red teddy bears red hearts everything is red chocolate boxes are made of red and it's sort of like you know even ladies when you've got your little red dress um you are said to be sexy you said to be attractive you said to be you know cur you, you 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 have that sexual um elevation coming you see guys looking at you differently because of the red little skirt that you have so red has always been associated with romance use red you know elevate a little bit of romance in your life uh red for danger so be careful make sure that your energies are in positive mode and your intention is clear when you are using the red color and yeah i think that is it about red color or the red candle let's get to the orange candle if there's anything that um, i did not cover like i said please leave uh, a comment i'd love to learn also from you these are all my personal experiences and my understandings of all these candles um everything is, is spirit inspired there's more to the candles but for me i'm just saying what is relevant to me what fits my soul you might have something else that you've used the color candle that i'm talking about for so please do not be scared to comment on and give us the knowledge so the orange candle like i did with the red candle we're going to start with the color orange itself so the color orange is a combination of yellow and red so this is very exciting you're getting uh the best of both worlds um you know the, the the energy and the encouragement of the red candle and the happiness and joy and brightness of the yellow candle on all in one the orange candle is associated with joy appreciation sunshine happiness and you know it gives us that enthusiasm you get encouraged you get excited about things when you're using the orange 
it encourages us um, you know to do more it also stimulates success in our lives you can use it when you are trying to manifest wealth into your life when you're trying to manifest success i always say definition of success is different for all people success for you might be having you know two children uh, or maybe having 10 children having a house having a car and success for me might simply mean um, getting that job that I've you know I've just got my degree and I need the job that goes with my degree and if I can get that job I don't even want to study to study any further that success or success can mean me buying my first car so at different stages of our lives success is defined in different ways um, so orange candle yeah I think that's about it with the orange color but there's more and if you want to learn more we're going to do colors again like I said this is just the beginning the class is starting we are going to grow we're going to learn there's just a lot of things that are still coming in store uh, the orange candle combination of yellow and red so the yellow the mental ability and the red it is your action energy the physical energy the mental energy the spiritual energy I said it it is a combination of these two and it is best of both worlds with um, the orange color it is a rep it, it, it represents masculinity it is ruled by the Sun always where there is a um, a uh, feminine and uh, masculine power in spirit you're gonna find that most of the time the masculinity takes over but the feminine spirit keeps that masculine power under check behind every successful man there's a woman so red is disruptive red can be dangerous but with orange because of the combination with yellow it is always in check and it is a safe candle to use uh, it builds willpower energy and you know stamina so you, instead of you just having the will to do things now rushing adrenaline pumping you have stamina you think first you you analyze your situation and you are able to do what needs to be done in meditation we can use it to attract success like i said in, uh, earlier that when you want to manifest wealth when you want to manifest success when you want to manifest um money be it you know success in your studies uh, the mental ability side of it if you, you want to concentrate more focus more you can use your your orange and even if when you you are seeking romance a relationship it is the safest to use because like i said with red you need to be careful you need to channel your energies so with red there's a lot of things that um you need to take into consideration you need to be in a space where you are able to to tap you know to to oh with red that's what i want to say oh with red you you go very slow um yeah sometimes we get lost in english <laughs> so oh gaga the red color but with orange in itself it is already in check so you can use it to attract romance anything that we said in red you can actually apply in orange anything that i spoke about yesterday in yellow you can apply with the orange color it's just that whatever that is done in red where you need to be extra careful the yellow in orange will sort of like keep that in check whatever that you need to do that is in line with yellow the red will elevate it in the masculinity that it has um yeah and with uh, the orange color also we use it in the, the one thing that might be different from all the other colors is that we use it in legal cases law and justice so if you're facing something of the law whether it's a disciplinary hearing at work whether um, it, it is just anything to do with the law a case against you a red uh, um, an orange candle will always be part of the rituals that are done uh, to help you with with the challenge that you're facing with the law uh, it is one that is associated with pride it is associated with ambition like i said enthusiasm so it encourages you but in a gentle yet um, pushy way 
masculinity plus femininity they work together to to encourage you it is used to draw good things in life um, most of the performing artists when they meditate they use the orange candle because it gives physical stamina like i said earlier physical stamina therefore when they are on stage it, it it excites you know the performance it gives them stamina to be on stage it encourages that performance uh people who are doing advertising work where you need to be creative on the spot and things change every now and then it boosts your energies your mental energies it, it encourages creativity it encourages creativity so you can use it in meditation if you are setting goals um, like tomorrow when we are doing you know we are taking advantage of 11 11 2020 if you don't know what I'm talking about it means you have not watched the video so please go watch the video 11 11 2020 tomorrow we need to take advantage of the power portal that has been opened for us uh, by the universe this uh, tomorrow will be the most powerful manifestation day of the century so you need to take advantage of it if you can go get yourself the the orange candle because with goal setting tomorrow we are making our new year's resolution for 2021 yes we are saying goodbye to 2020 we are already preparing for 2021 2020 is only left with 52 days so gone is 2020 we are already preparing for 2021 so this candle will be right for 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 tomorrow's ritual when you're writing your your goals for 2021 when you are putting your vision board for 2021 the orange color when you've you put you light it and you sort of like meditate around it as you're doing your manifestation ritual it will be a good color to use um so some people when they talk about orange because of the combination of yellow and red they talk about the kiss uh, of life they tell you that you've just received a kiss of life because red it's encouraging you to live it's just pumping adrenaline into you and yellow is coming with happiness with joy with gentleness sunshine everything is bright everything is happy so it's just like a kiss of life you get uh, encouraged to live the planet um okay before i even say that let me say especially with tomorrow's ritual when you light a, an orange candle it's seen as an aggressive movement aggressive but gentle because you are taking the power of red and saying i need it right now i need it today but you are also being gentle in a sense of saying i do not mean any harm to the next person or to the next um you know spirit but i need it for me right now i need protection now but i don't want the next person to be hurt i need a job right now but i don't want another person to be unemployed in order for me to get a job uh, i need romance right now but i don't need um you know another person to lose a partner because of me so it's about i need it now for me but can the universe please give me what is mine and not take from somebody else in order for me to receive because with red that's what usually happens you are aggressive and you want it now for yourself and you don't care who gets hurt in the process with yellow you want it now but you're still like i can still wait in line it's a very gentle color so with orange and um, you know orange having the combination of red and yellow you are wanting it now it's an aggressive move but it's a gentle aggressive move um, I hope that it makes sense and then uh, the planet that is associated with the orange color or the orange candle like I said the Sun and when we talk about planets you will understand why in spirit we take moon and sun as planets and why we associate them with um, certain colors the day where you can perform your rituals um, with the orange color you're always encouraged to mostly use <laughs> to mostly use sunday but like tomorrow it will be a different sort of energy being given by the universe but in normal you know times you will just use it on a sunday because that is when the sun is um is in place strongly placed the seventh day or the the first day of the actually it's, uh, you know when you go back to african calendars and you look at our african 
which is a topic for another day it's a topic for another day let me not derail but it is actually the first day of the week so on sunday the sun is strongly placed it's waiting for for things to happen and we we use the 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 orange candle to attract goodness to attract life to encourage ourselves to enter into the next um, uh, seven days the chakra that is associated with the orange candle is the sacral chakra the sacral chakra which is just below your um, belly button your navel so the, the the root chakra is at the you know tail where you are rooted it's grounding you then you've got your sacral chakra mobile uh, button bubble may we always talk about the womb it's just above your womb area even with males we are talking mostly about your reproductive system it's one that is uh you know it encourages reproduction that's why even when we talk about fertility and sex and romance we are still coming to this color and femininity because with red you are rooted everything has to happen but with this one it's more gentle so it's on your womb it's more on your reproductive system with the reproduction we want life so we have to be aggressive but we hope to protect that life but we also have to be gentle to make sure that um we do not destroy life because it's small it needs to be nurtured that's where your your, your sacral chakra is and it's um just 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 um, it is our connection and ability to accept and you know to accept others and experience new things so with the sacral chakra we are accepting others fertility you're accepting a new being into you and you're accepting new experiences fertility in um uh you know when you are now when we're talking about being fertile in your life in your job in your finances everything around giving birth to to new things that are coming to to give um, success into your life that is the sacral chakra it is all about a sense of abundance a sense of well-being a sense of belonging that is our sacral chakra and we'll deal more with the chakras like i said when we do a stream on chakras the energy elements that are associated with the orange candle is your earth and fire because um, we are talking about being grounded in the red candle and we are talking about gentleness with the yellow candle so we, we, we are sort of like bringing fire but we are being gentle to the earth in itself when we talk about the elements again um, it will be probably one stream about the four elements but I will do that and we can understand what you're talking about orange heals the body by you know giving it comfort and warmth or by making comfort and warmth priority so it heals the body it nurtures life because it gives priority to warmth and to comfort just above your womb just there in your womb because if it did not you know give encouragement to warmth and to comfort that's why when uh, as a woman you are experiencing miscarriages or you're experiencing you know difficulties in in being pregnant when we do meditation and clearing of the energy centers we always concentrate on your sacral chakra to try and clear the the, the block the blockages in that chakra we will talk more about the chakras guys there will be a stream about chakras and we'll learn more but that is the main reason why we'll concentrate on that particular chakra more to unblock it because if it is blocked then warmth and comfort and encouragement of life would not be achieved uh, with orange what else can i say about orange um i'm trying to think what else can i say it, it you know it, it it encourages us to conquer it illuminates procrastination it welcomes fertility and prosperity um those are the key words life encouragement you know fertility prosperity it is gentle it is a gentle aggressive color that you can use when you need to achieve things it is a safe color to use because you've got your red and you've got your yellow red being 
adrenaline pumping take action now i need it for me and i'm gonna get it for me but yellow being i'm not gonna hurt the next person while i get it for myself we must live together in harmony but i must get what is mine the universe has enough if you know the birds can all live and they can have trees and they can have their eggs in their nest there's a tree for every bird to have a nest so you are just asking for what is yours from the universe but you're not saying hurt the next person or i'm taking from the other person and i think that is um our lesson for for tonight about the red and the orange candle with with each and every color use it with intention when you light your candle light your candle with intention i've said before until i do the stream if you're struggling with intention setting or you don't know what i'm talking about when i say light your candle with intention write down the reason why you are lighting your candle write it down put it next to your candle before you light it read it read it read it and as you are lighting your candle say it out loud channel the energies into the candle see what will happen in your life um, this is candle week on learning with Norma, with Gogo Norma. We are unpacking candle colors and their meanings, the use of the candle color, planets associated with the candles, elements, um, chakras that are associated with the candles. Please do join me again tomorrow night, the whole week, 7 o'clock to 8. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend that 7 o'clock should be a date with uh, Gogo Norma on learning with Norma on Facebook. Facebook. we are unpacking candles this week and this will be maybe on a weekly basis until i've covered a lot of topics and we can maybe go on once a week or whenever but for this week it is candle week i'll be here every night at seven o'clock monday to friday talking about candles tomorrow we are looking at um let me just see tomorrow we're looking at the blue and the green candle tomorrow we are looking at the blue and the green candle today we were talking about red and orange candles like i said earlier if you are only following me on facebook please know we are available on other platforms the classroom is there it's your online comprehensive classroom where we are trying to change our lives one lesson at a time taking a closer look at health at finance and at our spirituality on instagram you can follow at learning with norma uh, you can visit my blog website learningwithnorma.com and you can also go on youtube search for learning with norma and um you know subscribe look at all the videos uploaded learn more because there's lots of content in the in the youtube channel that is not here on facebook so you can go and check that out or if you're struggling to find us on facebook you can go to learningwithnoma.com on the first page you will see links on follow me and you just click on the youtube link and it will take you straight to the youtube channel do not forget to hit the subscribe button when you get there it is free guys but it is helping to uplift the the, the classroom it helps for the content to reach more people the video will be uploaded on i'm gonna leave it on facebook so you can click the share button share it on your page share it with people you know need this there's a need for spiritual awakening in, in in south africa there's a need for spiritual awakening in the world as a whole so whatever means that we can use to bring the spiritual awakening to to our people we are using that yeah um thank you so much for for joining me tonight uh see you tomorrow with the blue and the green candle leave a comment hit the like button visit all our face uh, our social media pages subscribe follow on instagram and yeah let's just share 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 don't be afraid to click the share button share the knowledge this is gog norma on learning with norma changing our lives one lesson at a time see you tomorrow thank you for the love